The following presentation is rated Web G for general audiences. And now, a BOA.TV original series. Welcome to the family. Previously on Welcome to the Family. It's a road trip! I love my new home. Yeah? It's a barbecue. Another one! Another one! It's kind of like a boys' night out. We all have a blast. Anyone can entertain you, but only we entertain you. With a mixture of fun, learning, and craziness, my team and I travel the world motivating and connecting with people. Are you ready? Welcome to the family. I love road trips, so much so that we make it a point to take three weeks to a month off every year. Sometimes what we do is we just make it the annual family road trip or something. Which we call road tour because it's like a workation. We work, and we have a vacation at the same time. We're going to see clients, and we're gonna see family, and we're gonna see friends. All of our trips have always been phenomenal. We get amazing experiences. There's always an unexpected challenge or event, and it's always something's changing. This time we decided to take a very large trailer with us. Which we dubbed the Green Room. I'm a little worried about just the logistics of everything. We've never done this, and especially we're not 100% sure if our van can do it, if we're equipped to take such a large house with us. But more importantly, I live alone and I like my alone space. And putting five people and three dogs in an itty bitty space. I think these things always bring us closer together anyways. I'm a little worried that personalities are gonna butt heads. Bert is always calm, cool, and collected, right? No matter what he's going through, he's always very... It was not what I expected. Then again, in life, what is? When I was driving and those semis were passing me by, I can feel the back of the trailer swerving all over the road. One more. Inside I was freaking out because I was like, I really did not have full control of that trailer, so I knew something wasn't right. Driving next to somebody that's stressing out is not fun. There was a lot of stuff going on and that had me nervous. So you almost died several times. Me? No, we. Yeah, we. <laughs> I always like to try things out a little bit. So we said, we're gonna go from Miami to the home that we have in Orlando, and let me feel it out, and then I'll tell you if we're gonna do the whole trip. So how's the trip so far, man? Unbelievable. <laughs> so I told the team about it, and then I let them know my concerns, and I said, you know what, I need to stop, because I didn't think we were gonna make it. We took up residence in a parking lot at Harbor Freight for ooh, about four hours, I think, in the hot Florida sun. So we found out that we had to get something called a weight distribution. Our vehicle looks like this right now. We're gonna adjust this so it looks like that. We're having issues. The trailer's swaying back and forth. Then we needed some sway bars. We'd rather lose an hour or two on our trip and be safe. And when you don't bring the right tools, I don't know whose responsibility it was to get those tools. It can really get difficult. Are you going the right way? Yeah, lefty loosey. The wrench wasn't big enough, so we have to get a larger one, a much larger one. And at that time, a gentleman came by and said, you know, I have the same type of trailer, and what is it you guys are doing? Do you guys need any help? As we're doing it, <laughs> the trailer detaches from the vehicle. He goes, what? W what's wrong? That's not supposed to happen. Why is it happening? He goes, because your ball is too small. <laughs> You either have big balls or small balls, and this trailer is for big balls. And for those of you that are watching and saying, Bert, you should have known better, I'm a seminar facilitator. I do seminars around the world. I am not a hitch master. <laughs> I woke up really nice, took a shower, I looked pretty, I did my hair. Look at me now. <laughs> We've been to Savannah before, and we knew it was so beautiful, and part of the team had not, so we thought, ah, what a treat. This was my first time going to Savannah, and it was gorgeous. I loved it. I really like the atmosphere here. It's got a nice vibe of history and culture. Savannah is a beautiful city, especially the downtown area. However, I didn't get to fully enjoy it, because we were, what, I think maybe 45 minutes till it was mastermind time, our weekly online webinar series that we had. We only got a little bit of time to do it. We had to find a place with internet connectivity ASAP. We needed to go live. 
This is not an easy task. We found a place. I got my laptop out, I started setting up, and then I found out that the place closed right at 8 p.m., which is when Mastermind starts. Apparently only the bar area closes, so we might be able to stay in the other part of the hotel where there might be power. Are we even broadcasting? No, we're not broadcasting yet. I see the broadcast button. Do not hit the broadcast button. And where we got to, I couldn't even pull out my computer. We had to go just off our phones and just really work off the cuff. We did a live show in the middle of Savannah, Georgia, and not only did I do the show, I was walking up and down the street, going live and having interaction with the people from the Mastermind Circle, and everyone was watching me. I felt like one of those guys that do shows in the middle of the street. I had a crowd around me, even though I wasn't talking to them. This is pretty cool. You went jogging, man. I can do everything for your phone, man. for my phone. Yeah, it was gorgeous. It was good, man. I'm tired. I had a great time. Oh, it was awesome, mate. Right? The views were beautiful. Awesome. I think the energy was fabulous. One thing about living in the city is every time you walk outside, you hear cars, you just see, you know, asphalt. Everything is just totally city. But one of our favorite things to do is to take our trailer and go to the state parks and the national parks. Such a change of pace. Road trips for me is spending real, true quality time with your family, experiencing new things together and just bonding and meeting new people and just learning from actually experiencing things, not just reading it from a book. It's one of the benefits you get when you really do what you love. And, as if Bert wasn't tested enough. Black Mountain is intense. How many people do you have behind you, Bert? I got a lot. <laughs> like, what does it say? Five, seven, ten, I'm not even kidding, about 15 people. He was flooring it, and I think it was going maybe 10 miles an hour. I really thought the car was just gonna die and we were gonna roll backwards. You guys have no idea what I'm going through. You just don't show it. You're showing some of it, which means you're really freaking out. Yes. <laughs> we have no control. All we hear is <laughs> So that makes us panic even more. A lot of times I would just close my eyes and wait for impact. So we were trying to beat the rain to our next stop, but we kept making some wrong turns. Okay, how am I gonna do this? Very carefully. Dude, you've done that like four times today. Leave me alone. <laughs> You kind of start navigating yourself or something because you're frustrated. Ah! But luckily, we got there just in time for it to start pouring. I hope that my parking is nice. Is this guy was awesome. Bert called him the stormtrooper, which I thought was hilarious. It doesn't matter how bad that weather was, he was going to help us out, and he's awesome for that. I thought. We're not gonna make an entrance here. We're gonna walk in very careful. <laughs> Hope we don't get hit by lightning. <laughs> That's true. Wow. By the way, this is what not to do. Have a nice rod of metal in your hand. <laughs> So what are the lessons here today? There's a few things, starting with preparation. Prepare yourself. Whatever it is that you're gonna do, make sure you have a list, you check it, check it twice, three times, and even then, things may happen. However, the more prepared you are, the better off you'll be. Number two, commitment. In today's world, that's one of the things that people lack, is commitment. Making sure that if they say they're gonna do something, they follow through. In fact, that's what we did. And that's why we were able to do our mastermind session. And number three, making the best of it, which means that at the end of the day, things may not go as planned. However, it is what it is. Enjoy it for what it is. People get too stressed out because things don't go as planned and they miss out on this one beautiful word called life. I hope you enjoyed this episode as much as we enjoy making it for you. And like always, make sure to keep making it happen, and I'll see you next week. Hi, I'm Alexa from Welcome to the Family. And don't forget to comment, like, share. Oh yeah, and subscribe. <laughs>